Hi guys, welcome back to the Kilburn Long channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Kindercraft Evolution Cocoon. Um, hope you enjoy the video and it's useful for aiding you in buying your pushchair. So we had, was having a good think about what sort of pram we wanted and we felt the Kindercraft was a good option because it was really compact. It also has the option to attach a carry cot which we really wanted for baby but we didn't want to have to store a big um, solid carry cot piece that we know is only going to be used for the first six months so the um, the carry cot that came with this pram is quite soft you know what I like about this pram is that I, again I like them leather leather right handles Jen it gives you a bit better grip yeah, it does look really smart. We went for the grey option, which uh, came with the the brown leatherette handles and bar. And the clips here that you can see in this section here, they're quite simple to put, you know, to snap together. And there's just that little black button in the, in the middle to take out, of it, isn't it? Yeah. It's got nice padding on the straps as well to keep baby comfortable. I think it just really was important this time for us to have a more lightweight compact stroller option to be able to get through our doors and to be easy to fold to get into our car as well well not only that we've got quite a thin hallway and so we tend to take the buggy around the back of the house and we store it in like a green sort of storage bin don't we the other positive for me about this pram was that it could be parent facing and world facing um, I really wanted it to be able to be parent facing while the, the baby was still little uh, so I could just see them and interact with them. And just going back to that, it's got quite a big basket and we'll definitely be seeing our cats at the bottom of that, no doubt, especially Apollo. But um, as you can see, it's really easy to lay the pram flat and into a more seated position. It's, it also comes with all different um, accessories. So here's the uh, like the cosy, the foot muff, the cosy toes. I'm attaching it. Just you just use poppers to attach it to the frame. <clears throat> I noticed it does actually come with a cup holder as well, but we didn't get any footage of that, did we? No, there is a cup holder. There is a rain cover. There is also a bug net, and it also comes with a carry cot. You don't have to buy that separately. The own, and it even comes with the car seat adapters. The only thing you, you do have to buy separately is the actual car seat, which um, we didn't get because we're going to use the doona. I think you have to look for the three-in-one for that. Uh, this is the two-in-one. Uh, yeah, you, I think you can buy it all together if you go for the three-in-one. But the handle also, uh, you can adapt it to make it higher or lower, depending on your height make it more comfortable for you I'm just attaching the rain cover here and that also attaches with poppers to keep it secure I think the the poppers look a bit stiff but actually I think that is just because it's new yeah what I also liked about this rain cover is it had a little zip pocket at the front so you can unzip that portion to be able to see baby yeah, that's coming up actually. I really like that bit. That's actually quite handy. I don't I've not I don't think I've seen a buggy that's got that to be honest. Comment if you know of another buggy that actually does have that. It's this section here I think it is. Yeah. You just I think there's a button and you can just roll up that portion of the rain cover and it, and button it. So yeah. It, it yeah. keeps upright. Yeah, let us know. Let us know if there is another and then this is the it. carry cot it comes with um pieces you can slide into pockets at the side to make it more structured but it is actually quite soft and when i was reading the information it says you can put this in the washing machine it just it means it's so much easier to store because you you can just fold it away The carry cot attaches to the frame uh, by using clips that you clip underneath. 
So you have to lay the seat flat. Like so. And just pop the curry cot on top. It's really easy. There are two little loops for the top um, clips to slide through before clipping them together so it makes the curry cot more secure to the frame. Oh yeah, that's where the, that's the clips on, there's a back and front isn't it? Yeah. Again, it seems just a bit tight. I think it's just because it's new, though. The other thing I really liked about this pram was it has a really nice hood that goes really far down because sometimes I found with previous prams, the hoods just weren't quite long enough to keep the sun out of baby's eyes. I also really like that the wheels are not ones you need to pump up. We've had one of those sort of prams before as well. And if you get a punch, chill whilst you're out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, like and subscribe. Um, we'll be uploading more uh, more reviews. Uh, not all on baby stuff, but probably quite a lot on baby stuff because Jen's pregnant. Um, but have a look at our other content as well. Um, and we hope this helped you with your purchase. Bye.